It's got blood red skin, tentacles, and big spines. Meet the vampire squid from hell. <laughs> These bizarre, mysterious creatures look like they came from the imagination of a sci-fi writer. I'm looking at you, Jules Verne. But I assure you that they're real. They live in the deep, dark parts of the ocean, the parts where sunlight can't reach. So why are they nicknamed vampire squids? What do they eat? And are they dangerous to humans? The vampire squid is an ancient creature that has barely changed since it appeared 300 million years ago. They existed even before dinosaurs. The nickname Vampire Squid from Hell is the literal translation of this creature's Latin scientific name, Vampyroteuthis infernalis. It's a bit of a misnomer though because it's not really a squid, or a vampire for that matter, or from hell. This life form has been reclassified by biologists many times. It was once thought to be an octopus too, but it's not an octopus either. It is a cephalopod, which is the same class as squids, octopuses, cuttlefish, and nautiluses. But the vampire squid ended up in its own taxonomic order called Vampyromorphida. This creature is legitimately one of a kind. In addition to its brownish red skin, tentacles, and spines, it is also distinguished by its beak, its brilliant cerulean eyes, and the webbing connecting its tentacles, which makes it appear as if it's wearing a skirt. So pretty. The vampire squid is considered an extremophile, an organism that lives in extreme environments. This is because it thrives at depths of 600 to 900 meters. This depth is considered an aphotic, or lightless zone with minimal oxygen levels and temperatures around two to six degrees Celsius. These unique creatures eat mostly detritus, or marine snow, that drifts by on its way to the ocean floor. Marine detritus often consists of moats of dead plankton and feces. But vampire squids don't just slurp it up as it passes by. Instead, they collect the marine snow and combine it with mucus excreted by filaments in the suction cups of their tentacles. Then they form it into marine snowballs, which they devour with their beaks. Yummy. While these creatures sound odd, and maybe even a little creepy, they are harmless to humans. And they are certainly not the blood-sucking monsters that they're named after. They're more often prey than predators, displaying an array of defense mechanisms. When a vampire squid feels threatened, it will assume the pineapple posture. In this posture, its spinal filaments, or cirri, which usually hide behind its skirt, will appear as the vampire squid pulls its tentacles and webbing inside out and over its body. This helps obscure the creature by darkening its color and making it blend into the dark abyss. If a predator does see it, its sinister-looking spines will act as a deterrent, though they are harmless, don't tell the predators. Though it doesn't spray ink, it does have one more trick up its sleeve, or rather, its skirt. A vampire squid can emit a bioluminescent mucus from its arms to confuse and misdirect its predators. Like a magician releasing a smoke bomb before disappearing, the vampire squid releases a cloud of its glowing fluid and vanishes into the darkness. Turning inside out and emitting bioluminescent clouds is what vampire squid do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.